Welcome to the United States Naval War College graduation ceremony for the class of 2019. Guests are asked to remain seated for student and faculty processions. For the student procession, the Navy Band Northeast will be playing the Naval War College March, written by former Secretary of the Navy, Ambassador J. William Mittendorf II, Naval War College Founday, Foundation Trustee Emeritus, followed by the traditional pomp and circumstance. The faculty procession will be led by the faculty marshal, Professor, Professor Charles Chadbourne, and the Dean of Academics, Dr. Phil Hahn. Indonesia, State of Israel, Italian Republic, Jamaica, Japan, Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, Republic of Kazakhstan, Republic of Kenya, Republic of Korea, State of Kuwait, Republic of Latvia, Lebanese Republic, Republic of Lithuania, Republic of Madagascar, Malaysia, United Mexican States, Kingdom of Morocco, New Zealand, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kingdom of Norway, Sultanate of Oman, Independent State of Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Republic of Poland, State of Qatar, Romania, Democratic Republic of Sao Tome and Principe, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Republic of Senegal, Republic of Singapore, Republic of South Africa, Kingdom of Spain, Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, Republic of Suriname, Kingdom of Sweden, Taiwan, United Republic of Tanzania, Kingdom of Tonga, Tunisian Republic, Ukraine, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, United States of America, and the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. United States Armed Services and United States government agencies represented in the graduating class are the United States Navy, the United States Marine Corps, 
the United States Army, the United States Air Force, the United States National the Party Chief Management Army, the United States Senate, the United States House of Representatives, Air Force Material Command, Air Force Office of Special Investigations Command, Army Intelligence and Security Command, the Central Intelligence Agency, the Coast Guard Maritime Intelligence Fusion Center, Cruise Missile Support Activity, Defense Criminal Investigative Activity, Defense Intelligence Agency, Defense Contract Management Agency, Defense Logistics Agency, Defense Security Cooperation Agency, the Defense Senior Leadership Development Program, the Defense Technology Analysis Program, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, the Department of Health and Human Services, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, the Department of State, the Department of Justice, the Department of the Treasury, the Federal Air Marshal Service, the Federal Aviation Administration, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Federal Executive Board, the Government Accountability Office, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Navy Installation Management Command, the Marine Corps Intelligence Activity, Marine Forces Cyberspace Command, the Military Sealift Command, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, the National Guard Bureau, the National Nuclear Security Administration, the National Security Agency, the NATO Allied Command Transformation Detachment, Naval Air Systems Command, Naval Air Warfare Center, the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, Naval Facilities Engineering Command, Naval Postgraduate School, Naval Sea Systems Command, Naval Special Warfare Command, Naval Surface Warfare Center, Naval Undersea Warfare Center, the Navy Manpower Analysis Center, the Navy Recruiting Command, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, the Office of the Inspector General, the Office of Naval Intelligence, the Office of the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Health Affairs, the Office of the Secretary of Defense, the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Policy, the Senate Armed Services Committee, Spa War System Center Atlantic, the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, Surface Warfare Officers School Command, the Transportation Security Administration, the U.S. Secret Service, the U.S. Africa Command, the U.S. Agency for International Development, the United States Air National Guard, the United States Army Corps of Engineers, the United States Coast Guard 8th District, the United States Coast Guard Marine Safety Unit, the United States Customs and Border Protection, the United States Department of Commerce, the United States Department of Energy, the United States Department of Justice, the United States Joint Staff, the United States Marshal Service, the U.S. Naval War College, the U.S. Office of Personnel Management, United States Indo-Pacific Command, 
the United States Public Health Service, and the United States Special Operations Command.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party, honors, and a gun salute to the Honorable Richard V. Spencer, Secretary of the Navy, and remain standing through the invocation. Parade the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem will be sung by musician second class Rachel Vennell from the Navy Band Northeast. and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that Oh, Santa's that star spangled. 
God, bend a yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Retire the colors. Commander David M. Todd, chaplain of the Naval Leadership and Ethics Center, will deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this day in which we honor our nation's ensign and the enduring values and aspirational principles for which it stands, we ask your blessings upon these graduates of the College of Naval Command and Staff and the College of Naval Warfare. Your word reminds us to whom much is entrusted, much is required. They have submitted themselves to the discipline rigor of study, reflection, critique, and refinement, wrestling with the myriad complexities of war, statesmanship connected with war and the prevention of war. And so we pause to give you thanks for sustaining them through every challenge and the perseverance that enabled them to run the course with endurance. Now is the time for action. Grant them wisdom and humility to be the leaders our nation and the world needs. In the midst of the confusion, easy compromise, and complexity that characterizes the battle space of our times, give them eyes to see, hearts and minds to grasp, and steadfast wills to demonstrate fidelity to the moral character demanded by our nation's highest ideals. We thank you for the diversity and the new ways of seeing and knowing that our international partners have shared with us. And as they return to their nations, we pray your peace be upon them until that day when all humanity joins as one to beat swords into plowshares. Bless also the faculty and the staff that have instructed, challenged, and demanded more of these students that they might be fully equipped and ready for the arduous task ahead and for the family and friends who have encouraged and supported them. Finally, stir in each of us a renewed desire to engage the challenges that lie ahead and a firm commitment to fulfill our role in serving the cause of security, prosperity, and peace for all, looking forward to the day when your truth, justice, and righteousness shall reign. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, all military members, please uncover. It's my honor to present Dr. Lewis Duncan, Lewis Duncan, Acting President of the United States Naval War College. Good morning. To all of our families and friends, Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished graduates, honored guests, our extraordinary faculty of professors and scholars, our dedicated staff, uh, to our alumni and members of the Naval War College Foundation, families and friends of our Naval War College graduates of the year 2019. Welcome into our academic home. Without further ado, it's a great honor to introduce this year's commencement speaker, the 76th Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Richard Spencer.
Thank you, Provost Duncan. What a day. When I was uh, flying up last night around 1 a.m., I was sitting there doing what chaps would hope I was doing, which was praying that we'd have a day like today, because it certainly was a little nasty last night. But I want to thank you, Mr. Provost, the faculty, the administration, for having me here today to deliver a message to our graduating class. I also want to thank the foundation members that keep this organization operating at an exceptional level. And moreover, I want to thank friends and families that are here to support your graduates today. But most of all, most of all, I want to congratulate the class of 2019. Think back. Think back to the first days. Think back to the toughest days, the darkest days. Think back to the journey that you've had. And now here you are, literally basking. And this is one of the few days of your life, ladies and gentlemen, that it is all about you. Soak it up and congratulate yourself. But before you step forward, remember, you did not get here alone. Each one of you has benefited from the support of your family and friends along the way. We're always mindful, as you all know, that we recruit you, but we retain the family. Your achievements here and beyond are their achievements as well. To those friends and family with us today, graduates, could you please turn around and applaud them for their support? There's not a day goes by when I don't think about family, friends, teachers, mentors, colleagues, even old commanding officers who guided and encouraged me along the way, and God knows I needed guidance and encouragement at times in my life. And today, you can add to your own list of all the professors and all the classmates you have made, those who took interest in your studies and experiences here at this amazing institution, the Naval War College. You have each arrived here through a different path. For many, it was in uniform, sailors, Marines, soldiers, airmen, coast guardsmen, federal agents. Others have arrived through civilian service across the government, throughout the diplomatic corps and the halls of Congress. And many of you hail from our partners and allies as far away as New Zealand and as close as Canada and Mexico. Six continents in one class, truly strong. From this day forward, ladies and gentlemen, you will share an enduring bond, forged in common experience and shared perspective. Maintain and strengthen those bonds wherever your career takes you next. You will find that your contact list, and I used to use the word Rolodex, but some people didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> those who enhance your contact list because you will find that this is possibly one of the most important career tools that you will own. Every day, our allies and partners join us in defending freedom, deterring war, and maintaining rule of order, which underwrites a free and open society. They are our force multiplier, serving together, studying together, completing exercises together in our joint operational readiness helps us secure a safer world. Over the past 22 months, I have seen the breadth and depth of our joint exercises and seen how it has expanded dramatically. And let us never forget the reason we have a strong Navy, the reason we have a strong Defense Department, and the reason we have allies is to let the State Department have that maneuvering space one more day to prevent us from having to take kinetic action. As Secretary in my time in business, I've witnessed the enduring, partnership, the enduring power of partnerships and how these relationships span the globe and cross functional lines. Keep in touch. Wherever life takes you, please keep in touch. The return on investment is extraordinary. Because we need all of you, service members, civilians, allies, and partners to think strategically and work together to address the challenges of what the national defense strategy now describes as the most complex security environment in recent history, we need you to remain honed and connected. The influence of sea power today on today's global commerce goes beyond anything Alfred Thayer Mahan could have imagined 
when he helmed this institution over a year ago. And today's distributed battle space would send Clausewitz back to the drawing board. And the information warfare today outpaces the world of Sun Tzu. But the creative problem solving and strategic thinking that these strategists personified is more important than ever. Like the curriculum you've all completed, the Naval War College is rooted in tradition, but fueled, fueled by your innovation. As our Education for Sea Power study noted, we now compete in the cognitive age, requiring continual breakthrough enhanced by education in artificial intelligence, robotics, autonomous systems, and machine learning to enable strategic and, and, and competitive thinking to flourish. The Naval War College holds a central place in our strategic constellation. Events like the International Sea Power Symposium and regular wargaming exercises are critical elements in building a continual learning enterprise, one where all assumptions are challenged and every possibility is explored on a continual basis. For example, logistics, communication, and sustainment are no longer accepted as givens in our modern war games. Now, and you'll hear the new CNO when he takes the helm, the story doesn't just talk about us getting to the fight tonight. We're going to have to start thinking about fighting to get off the pier. That is how competitive the cyber world has become. The Navy Marine Corps team is the most lethal and ready forward deployed force in the world. Over the past three years, we've been rebuilding, modernizing, and recharging this force. But the technology gap that we have enjoyed for years is under threat, ladies and gentlemen. We have the resources to widen that advantage again. We have the money. And as I look out here, we have the intellect and the energy. What we do not have is time. Put your academic achievements to work immediately and relentlessly. Challenge assumptions as, lose, as soon as you arrive to your next command. Look beyond your immediate range of vision for solutions wherever they may lie. Whether they're in business, whether they're in government or elsewhere, look for the best business practice, look for the solution. As I call it, RDNA, rip off and deploy the best ideas that you can find wherever they may be. <laughs> Speak up whenever you find a potential solution to a problem. Whether you think it's your job or not, or whether you think you're compelled to or not, have what I call the conversation. One that is data informed, quantitative in nature, and outside your hatch hang a little sign that says, check your emotions and your biases, your adjectives and your adverbs at the door. We're about to have a meaningful conversation. Listen to the ideas of others, subordinates and colleagues, and send those ideas and solutions up the line. One of the best leadership tools that I was taught at an early age was so simple, yet so profound and impactful. MBW, management by walking around. You're going to find, and it's been my experience both in the military world and the business world, that the best solutions come from those who are facing off the, from the problems. I challenge you to seek and implement positive change at every single level, at every command, and at every job that you have. Use your training and operate at all times with a sense of urgency, the urgency that is needed to stay ahead and keep this gap open. Pursue and support an entrepreneurial and risk-taking, risk-taking spirit across the board. And did I happen to mention urgency? Yes, that path is more time-consuming and it consumes more bandwidth. Yes, it's a harder, steeper trail, I get it. Yes, it can be exhausting, I get that too. But that is why you are here. The degrees that you've earned today says that you have the capability, the capacity, and the training to accept this challenge and deliver those solutions. Please, make it count. Wherever you land in the coming years, afloat or ashore, Take the opportunity to reform processes and practices through your own innovations or those of others, through everything you've learned here and along the way. You didn't work so hard to get here and leave today and start accepting business as usual. I know that for a fact. Cultivate an allergy to the phrases, well, it's been done that way all the time. Why do we want to change it? Or it is what it is. And by the way, did I mention urgency? Get the message. Roll up your sleeve. 
Change things for the better. And when you, ha when you have a chance outside of your own community, in time, give it back. Because this country is put together by those who volunteer to make it a better place. You have the foundation for it. You've started to do it. Keep it in the back of your mind as you go forward. Your degree signifies your academic achievements at one of our nation's top strategically thinking institutions. It declares that you possess the drive, the creativity, and the intellectual skills to tackle the world's most vexing issues. And boy, do I have some issues for you all to tackle. Continue that spirit throughout your career, reimagining, reinventing, and re-engineering to meet the relentless demand signal of change that we are facing now. Keep your commitment, please. Don't ever get complacent. And always remember what brought you here. And more importantly, who brought you here, because that will determine where you will go from here. So to the class of 2019, fair winds, following seas, and know that I look forward to crossing paths with you in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Secretary Spencer, for your remarks. We greatly thank you for your participation in today's ceremony and for your continued support of this remarkable college. Academic awards will now be presented to the students who have distinguished themselves through their exceptional achievement. For every resident student here today, there are 10 other students located around the globe engaged in the U.S. Naval War College's distance education programs. This year, there are 1,250 graduates of the College of Distance Education, of whom 111 are with us here today. Distance education is unique. It's a unique challenge in that the students complete their education while engaged in their full-time day jobs, thus requiring a special level of initiative and dedication. It is with a profound sense of camaraderie and appreciation for their efforts that we salute our distance education students. The McGinnis Family Award for Outstanding Performance in Non-Resident Seminar Education is sponsored by Captain D. Robert McGinnis, United States Navy Reserve, retired, a Naval War College Foundation trustee emeritus. A cash award, it recognizes the Fleet Seminar Program graduate of the College of Distance Education who displays superior standards of academic performance, professionalism, and community service. The winner of the McGinnis Family Award for Outstanding Performance in Non-Resident Seminar Education is Captain Ellie M. Ekman, United States Marine Corps, College of Distance Education. Unfortunately, Captain Ekman is out of the country and unable to join us today. These prizes recognize the international officers from the senior and intermediate class who best embraced Admiral Arleigh Burke's vision of international program as a place for naval officers from around the world to foster trust, confidence, friendship, and international cooperation, and advance those principles among their classmates while at the U.S. Naval War College. Mr. George E. Lang, Jr., Chief Executive Officer of the Naval War College Foundation, will present the awards. Through Admiral Joseph C. Strasser, Naval Staff College International Leadership Prize winner is Commander Carlos Eduardo Ribeiro de Macedo, Marina de, de Brazil. Joseph C. Strasser Naval Command College International Leadership Prize winner is Commander Senior Grade Christoph Kalmbach, Belgian Navy.
Each year, the Navy League of the United States presents two awards, one to a graduate of the College of Naval Warfare and one to a graduate of the College of Naval Command and Staff. These awards are given in memory of Rear Admiral Stephen B. Luce and Admiral William S. Sims, respectively. Admiral Luce was the first president of the Naval War College, and Admiral Sims was president of the Naval Co War College at two points in his distinguished career. Recipients of this award are chosen based on their outstanding achievement across a spectrum of disciplines, including academic performance, participation in Naval War College activities, participation in civic and community activities, and promotion of the armed services in the public interest. Dr. Sorry, Mr. Thomas Feeney, President of the Naval League of the United States, Newport County Council, will present the award. The William S. Sims Award for the Distinguished Graduate of the College of Naval Command and Staff is presented to Major Stephen Orban, U.S. Army. The Stephen B. Luce Award for the Distinguished Graduate of the College of Naval Warfare is pre presented to Mr. Christopher Smith, Department of State. We turn now to the recognition of this year's Hattendorf Prize winner. Today, the U.S. Naval War College is honored to present the fourth award of the Hattendorf Prize for Distinguished Original Research in Maritime History. This prize is named for a professional emeritus, Professor Emeritus, John Hattendorf, and is widely viewed as the most prestigious award that any scholar can receive in this field. I'd like to thank the Naval War College Foundation for permanently endowing this award, enabling us to present a cash prize as well as a bronze medal designed by Professor Hattendorf's youngest daughter, Anna Hattendorf. We hope that this will serve as a permanent beacon to encourage and promote new scholarship in this very important field of study. The winner of this year's Hattendorf Prize for Distinguished Original Research in Maritime History is Dr. Jeffrey Till, the, college, the college's Dudley W. Knox Chair for Naval History and Strategy. Dr. Till and Dr. Hattendorf, would you please come forward? Please join us in congratulating all the award winners for their outstanding efforts and performance and to show appreciation to the sponsors of the awards and their continued generosity of the U.S. Naval War College. Dr. Duncan, would you come to the podium, please?
In my capacity as the acting president of the U.S. Naval War College, I am empowered to award academic recognition to individuals who demonstrate unparalleled public service and commitment to the college, the Naval Services, and to the nation. And so, Mrs. Van Buren, would you please join me on stage? Hope Van Buren for your wise and progressive leadership in the Newport Co County community, for your generosity to the institution, and for the gracious embrace of your friendship. The U.S. Naval War College is pleased and honored to bestow upon you the degree of Master of Arts in National Security and Strategic Studies with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge the achievements of one of our greatest naval leaders. Five-star fleet Admiral Ernest J. King completed the staff course of the Naval War College as a battleship sailor before the First World War. After that great conflict, he completed the correspondence course while commanding submarines in 1924. Having qualified as an aviator, King attended the resident course of the Naval War College, earning the distinction of topping the class of 1933. Unfortunately, King was unable to complete the final battle problem when he, suddenly, when he was suddenly called to Washington and promoted to flag rank as the chief of the Bureau of Aeronautics. Although he received credit for completing the Naval War College curriculum, he did not attend the graduation ceremonies in the newly constructed theater in Pringle Hall in May of 1933. King did not receive his graduation certificate. We shall now rectify this bureaucratic oversight by inviting King's grandson, retired Commander Jan Smith, to join us on the stage. He is, he is representing other members. He is representing other members of the Fleet Admiral King's family who are all here with us today. King family, would you all please stand? Congratulations to the entire King family. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will begin the presentation of graduates. Naval Command College, please rise and remain standing. Naval Staff College, please rise and remain standing. College of Naval Warfare, please rise and remain standing. College of Naval Command and Staff, please rise and remain standing. College of Distance Education, please rise and remain standing. Dr. Duncan, I have the honor to present the United States Naval War Class, uh, College Class of 2019. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Congress of the United States, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and the New, New England Commission of Higher Education, I confer upon you the appropriate degrees and diplomas from the United States Naval War College with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in saluting with applause the graduates of the United States Naval War College Class of 2000. Graduates will now receive their diplomas. Beyond the requirements for graduation, certain individuals have distinguished themselves through academic excellence. A diploma with highest distinction is presented to the top 5% for each graduating class. A diploma with distinction is presented to the next 15% of each graduating class. Graduates will proceed to the stage as their name is read. Please hold your applause until all names have been read so that all names and recognitions may be heard.
Commander Jeremy P. Adams, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Mokhtar Belfokrun, Algerian Naval Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Ryan D. Ayers, U.S. Air National Guard. Captain Herman Micheles Roldan, Armada Argentina. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher P. Bell, U.S. Air Force. Commander Dougald Cleland, Royal Australian Navy, International Masters with Distinction. Commander David A. Benham, U.S. Navy. Commander Amarul Islam, Bangladesh Navy. Lieutenant Colonel David J. Bennett, U.S. Marine Corps. Commander Senior Grade, Christophe Kolenwal, Belgian Maritime Component. Lieutenant Colonel Michael A. Bonura, U.S. Army. Commander Jules Vieira, Benin Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Kevin J. Boyce, U.S. Marine Corps. Captain Marcelo da Silva Gomez, Marina do Brasil. Colonel James A. Brady, U.S. Army. Captain Pavlin Petkov, Bulgarian Naval Forces. If I could have all the, gra the graduates have a seat. Thank you. Colonel Ter Terry Daniel Brannon, U.S. Army. Captain Serge Nyo Elong, Cameroon Navy. Mr. Walter Martin Brown Allure, Department of State. Captain Jeff Hutchinson, Royal Canadian Navy. Mr. Douglas Lawrence Briller, Department of State, with distinction. Commander Andres Howard, Armada de Chile. Lieutenant Colonel David R. Brothers, U.S. Marine Corps. Commander Jorge Cabrera Botero, Armada Republico de Colombia, International Masters. Lieutenant Colonel Robert K. Bryant, U.S. Army, with distinction. Commander Mohammed Aid Elkanawi, Egyptian Navy. Mr. John D. Bunkall, Department of the Navy, Chief Management Officer. Captain Indrik Hansen, Estonia Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Brian Eugene Byrd, U.S. Air Force Reserve. Commander Emanuele Dari, Marina Nacional. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Lewis Carter, U.S. Army Reserve. Commander Hans Geisler, Deutsche Marine, International Masters with Distinction. Commander Aaron Michelle Cascini, U.S. Navy with Distinction. Captain Godwin Bessing, Ghana Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Tiffany M. Chapman, U.S. Army, with distinction. Commander Giannis Agrodimos, Hellenic Navy. Mr. Randy B. Chenault, Department of the Army. Captain Raghu Nair. Indian Navy, International Masters with Distinction. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Childs, U.S. Air National Guard. Captain Bram Rusman, Indonesian Navy. Commander Gregory R. Cook, U.S. Navy. Commander Eli Soholitsky, Israeli Navy. 
Lieutenant Colonel Jared T. Corsi, U.S. Army Reserve. Commander Antonio D'Amico, Italian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Heather Jo Katoya, U.S. Marine Corps. Captain Yasutaka Ebata, Japan Maritime Self Defense Force. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Brian Culberson, U.S. Army. Commander Kusein Umarov, Kazakhstan Naval Forces. Commander Matthew D. Culp, U.S. Navy. Colonel Sam Muia, Kenya Defense Forces. Colonel Christopher R. Danbeck, U.S. Army. Commander Jeng Soo Kim, Republic of Korea Navy. Commander Thomas C. D'Arcy, U.S. Coast Guard, with distinction. Colonel Khaled Ashalal, Kuwait Naval Force. <laughs> Captain Stephen J. Delante, U.S. Navy. Colonel Ahmad Beshara, Lebanese Navy. Mr. Paul Anthony Del Viaye, Defense Senior Leadership Development. Commander Andreas Sirvus, Lithuanian Navy. Colonel Dean Harold Dinter, U.S. Army. Commander Harif Alui, Royal Malaysian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Jackson T. Doan, U.S. Marine Corps. Commander Moises Gonzalez Rubio Sanz, Armada de Mexico. Colonel Gary S. Cooper, U.S. Army. <laughs> Commander Mohsin Lafri, Royal Moroccan Navy. Colonel Stephen Paul Dondero, U.S. Army. Commander Brendan Oakley, Royal New Zealand Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Stephen M. Delgilowitz, Jr., U.S. Army. Captain Chindo Yahaya, Nigerian Navy. Commander Stephen C. Duba, Jr., U.S. Navy. Commander Espen, Espen Rasmussen, Royal Norwegian Navy. Commander Rafael C. Facundo, U.S. Navy. Captain Kalfan Elbraeki, Royal Navy of Oman. Lieutenant Colonel John R. Gavin, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Colonel Fred Aili. Papua New Guinea Defense Force. Colonel Fred E. Garcia II, U.S. Air Force. Captain Lued Lavan Lincuna, Philippine Navy. Mr. Scott David Garrett, Department of Homeland Security. Captain Shemek Karas, Polish Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Kerry Abraham Gilman, U.S. Army National Guard, with distinction. Captain Milu Zaria, Romanian Naval Forces. Captain Joseph C. Gerard, U.S. Navy, with highest distinction. Commander Khaled Ahalili, Royal Saudi Naval Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Joel Grant, U.S. Army Reserve. Commander Kos Sanya, Senegalese Navy. Mr. Brian N. Griffin, Military Sealiev Command. Commander Vusi Malangu, 
South African Navy International Masters. Commander Aaron A. Griffith, U.S. Navy. Commander, excuse me, Captain Javier Roca, Armada Española. Mr. Bruce E. Griggs, Defense Senior Leadership Development. Captain Rohan Joseph, Sri Lanka Navy. Commander Nicholas Gurley, U.S. Navy, with distinction. Lieutenant Colonel Anders Okermark, Royal Swedish Navy. Mr. David M. Gvozdas, I get that right? Thank you. Defense Contract Management Agency. Commander Da Yi Huang, Taiwan Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Kristen Catherine Haley, U.S. Air National Guard. Commander Murad Huaidi, Tunisian Navy. Colonel James M. Halloran, U.S. Army. Captain Andriy Koval, Naval Forces of Armed Forces of Ukraine. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher M. Hover, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Brigadier General Ebrahim Altanechi, United Arab Emirates Navy. Commander Matthew Gary Hayes, U.S. Navy. Commander Mark Shaw, Royal Navy, International Masters. Ms. Ashley E. Hendricks Somanova, National Geospatial Intel Agency. Lieutenant Colonel Philip Morrison, United States Air Force. Colonel Sandra Hurst, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Pluas, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Sean M. Higgins, U.S. Air Force. Commander John Balby, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Lee Hill, U.S. Air Force, with highest distinction. Captain Jeremy Komatz, United States Navy. Miss Mary J. Hubbard, Defense Senior Leadership Development. Lieutenant Commander Edison Hoja, Republic of Albania Naval Force. Lieutenant Colonel John F. Hunley, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Sanan Babayev, Naval Force of Azerbaijan. Mr. John H. Jackson, Naval War College. Lieutenant Commander Ahmed Samir Al-Assad, Royal Bahrain Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Kevin M. James, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Abdullah Al Noman, Bangladesh Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Valerie G. Johnson, U.S. Army Reserve. <laughs> Lieutenant Silifatu Amanke Buari, Republic of Benin Naval Forces, International Masters Program. <laughs> Ms. Trudy Ann V. Keith, Defense Senior Leadership Development. Commander Carlos Macedo, Marinha do Brasil. Commander Colin Carroll Kennedy, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Veselin Viktor Zhonov, Bulgarian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Q. Kinney, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction. Lieutenant Damian Ivanov Dimov, Bulgarian Navy. Commander Jessica J. Kimber, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Charlie Jean-Claude Andulo, Republic of Cameroon Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher D. Lang, U.S. Air Force. 
Lieutenant Commander Marco Antonio Sanchez Rodriguez, Colombian National Navy. Commander C. Michael Lane, Jr., U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Nikola Kuvacic, Croatian Navy. Mr. Christopher J. Leitsky, Defense Intelligence Agency, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Christian Dam Thuizen, Royal Danish Navy. Commander Chad A. Long, U.S. Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Saad Bulale Saad, Djibouti Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas R. Lurson, U.S. Army National Guard. Commander Amr Salahedin Hanafi Habib, Egyptian Naval Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Richard M. Martin, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Isoa Tokala Uvere, Republic of Fiji Navy. Commander Leon McLean, Jr., U.S. Coast Guard. Lieutenant Frank Mumbo Musavu, Gabonese Navy. Colonel Heath Lewis McCormick, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Badri Haladze, Georgian Coast Guard. Lewis, 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 Lewis. Captain Lewis M. McRae, U.S. Navy, with highest distinction. Lieutenant Commander Juan Francisco Santos Tolorzano, Guatemalan Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Brian McGee, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Pradeep Raja Shinathambi, Indian Navy. Commander Joseph L. McGettigan, Jr., U.S. Navy. Commandant Shripat Shahapurkar, Indian Coast Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Michael P. McGinn, U.S. Air National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Heru Kahiono, Indonesian Navy. Commander Andrew R. McGuire, U.S. Navy, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Anugeta Anurula, Indonesian Navy. Mr. Antoine C. McNeil, Defense Contract Management Agency. Lieutenant Commander Eyal Dukan, Israeli Navy. Colonel Robert Grant Meadows II, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Alvin Gale, Jamaica Defense Force Coast Guard, International Masters. Lieutenant Colonel Dave Melendez, U.S. Army National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Koji Kuhara, Japan Maritime Self Defense Force, International Masters. Colonel Michael Shane Mendenhall, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Yoshitomo Itoga, Japan Maritime Self Defense Force, International Masters. Mr. Kenneth Lee Meyer. Department of State, with distinction. Colonel Bashar Ali Hatamle, Royal Jordanian Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Daniel W. Miklas, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Oscar Kapashov, Naval Forces of Kazakhstan. Colonel Samuel Shane Miller, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Colonel Julius O. Sunday, Kenyan Naval Forces. Commander Christy S. Montgomery, U.S. Navy, with highest distinction. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Kim Tai Sung, Republic of Korea Navy. Colonel Jared Philip Moreland, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Lim Ji Hae, the Republic of Korea Navy. Ms. Deborah L. Mossbacher, Department of State. Commander Talal Asa, Kuwait Navy. Colonel Todd A. Napier, U.S. Army. Commander Junior Grade, Kaspars Mezitis, Latvian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Richard John Nowinski, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Nedas Ignatovicius, Lithuanian Navy. Colonel Nicholas Christopher Nuzo, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction.
Commander Andri Gi Om Rafahizato, Republic of Madagascar Navy. Commander Timothy David O'Brien, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Muhammad Hafiz bin Othman, Royal Malaysian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel William Edward O'Brien, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Sidi Mohammed El Mustafa, Mauritanian Navy. Commander Sean M. O'Donnell, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Gonzalo Isaac Cabrera Amador, Armada de Mexico. Miss Demetra M. Pappas, Department of State. Lieutenant Commander Yassin Kamar, Royal Moroccan Navy. Miss Kristen A. Paulson, U.S. Government, with distinction. Commander Daniel Carlson, Royal Norwegian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Merritt L. Phillips, U.S. Army Reserve. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Ahmed Al Siyabi, Royal Navy of Oman. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen C. Phillips, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Andrzej Trukowski, Polish Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel David or Daniel Reynolds Posh, U.S. Air Force Reserve. Major Ghanem Al Kabi, Qatari Emiri Naval Force. Commander Jessica Lynn Pyle, U.S. Navy, with distinction. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Mihai Bobok, Romanian Naval Forces. Commander Alexei Rasudin, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Ramon Fortes Duarte do Nascimento, Coast Guard of Sao Tome and Principe. Colonel Jeffrey L. Rybestine, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Colonel Khalid Al Sheikh, Royal Saudi Air Force, International Masters. Miss Arlisa Merritt Reynolds, Department of State. Commander Nawaf Faiz Al Gulaiti, Royal Na Saudi Naval Force. Commander David Wayne Reynolds, U.S. Navy, with highest distinction. Mm. Lieutenant Alimami Mbaye Basen, Senegalese Navy. Mr. Scott M. Reynolds, U.S. Special Op Operations Command. Mm. Major Bertram Chun Hu Ong, Republic of Singapore Navy, International Masters, with the highest distinction. Mr. Andrew James Howard Rhodes, U.S. Government, with highest distinction. Mm. Lieutenant Commander Johnny Carlo Ebesi Jodi, Suriname Navy. Ms. Megan G. Rhodes, U.S. Agency for International Development, with highest distinction. Mm. Lieutenant Commander Song Sieng Tang, Taiwan Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher C. Richardson, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Major Neyma Kenneth Ndamukwa, Tanzanian Army, International Masters. Lieutenant Colonel Aaron J. Rivers, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Commander David Nakoda, Tanzanian Navy. Colonel Christopher J. Ruga, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Uelalima Telefoni, Royal Tongan Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Joshua R. Ruiz Sanchez, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Ibrahim Chui, Tunisian Navy, International Masters. Lieutenant Colonel Nathan L. Rusin, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Commander Roman Stavrov, Ukrainian Navy. Commander Clifford Philip Lee Rutledge, U.S. Navy. Commander Saeed Saif al Mazrawi, United Arab Emirates Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Dane A. Salm, U.S. Marine Corps. 
Lieutenant Commander Simon Green, U.S. Coast Guard. Ms. Brooke A. Samples, National Nuclear Security Administration. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Stephanie Hayes, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Donald J. Sandberg, U.S. Air Force. Major Marvin Hinkson, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel John Stone Saddley, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Jake Lehman, U.S. Navy, with distinction. <laughs> Commander William Todd Sawhill, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Dawn Duke Long, Vietnam People's Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Catherine Lee Schultz, U.S. Marine Corps Reserve. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Wen Ban An, Vietnam People's Navy, International Masters. Commander Alexander Whitmer Skogan, U.S. Navy. From the College of Naval Command and Staff, Maritime Advanced Warfighting School, Major Benjamin M. Andera, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Andrew G. Sims, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Nathan B. Anderson, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Jesse Lee Schoberg, U.S. Marine Corps with highest distinction. Lieutenant Christian R. Asaban, U.S. Navy. Colonel Robert L. Sketch, U.S. Army. <clears throat> Lieutenant Commander Kurt Conrad Astroff, U.S. Navy. Mr. Christopher W. Smith, Department of State, with highest distinction. Major Benjamin R. Bernard, U.S. Army. Mr. Travis J. A. Smith, Department of Homeland Security. Ms. Emily K. Bender, Defense Intelligence Agency. Commander Patrick J. Snow, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Thomas W. Blackmore, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen William Spears, U.S. Air Force. Major Colin Philip Boynton, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Raymond Stevens, U.S. Air Force. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Commander Nicholas D. Balarzik, U.S. Navy. Captain William D. Stromberg, U.S. Navy. Major Eric G. Collier, U.S. Army. Captain Krista Pierpont Sturbois, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Stephen S. Cortez, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Brendan P. Sullivan, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Victor A. Cunningham, U.S. Navy. Commander Sean M. Sullivan, U.S. Navy. Major Connor Riley Dougherty, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Edwin Terry, U.S. Army National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Ryan T. Devlin, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Colonel John C. Tharp, U.S. Air Force. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Scott Felter, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Tice, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Commander William L. Grenoble V, U.S. Navy, with the highest distinction. Commander David Wagenborg, U.S. Navy. Major Brian S. Hale, U.S. Air Force. Captain Derek Scott Westman, U.S. Navy, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Jason Edward Holbrook, U.S. Navy. Captain Michael L. Witherspoon, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Amy Elizabeth Huff, U.S. Navy. 
Colonel Jason D.H., U.S. Air Force. Major Jason R. Crook, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Colonel Robert B. Ziegler, U.S. Army National Guard. Major Charles Lamb, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Michael A. Zweifel, U.S. Army. Major Jonathan okay. Andrew Lattimore, U.S. Air Force. And now we're starting uh, graduates from the College of Naval Command and Staff. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Commander Arlo K. Abrahamson, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Ryan Donald McGinn, U.S. Navy. I got you. Thanks for letting me know. Major Jarvis D. Adams, U.S. Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Stanton F. McWhorter, U.S. Navy. Major Christopher J. Allmeyer, U.S. Army National Guard. Major Frederick D. Monday, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Joshua D. Albright, U.S. Navy. Major Ricardo A. Munoz, U.S. Army. Major Sean L. Anderson, U.S. Air National Guard. Lieutenant Kyle W. O'Leary, U.S. Navy. Major Clayton John Ani, U.S. Air Force with highest distinction. Commander Dana John Onifer, U.S. Navy with distinction. Mr. Graham Glenn Barker, Department of State. Major Ryan B. Orbison, U.S. Army with distinction. I got you. Lieutenant Commander Matthew S. Bartholomus, U.S. Navy with distinction. Major Benjamin W. Phillips III, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction. Major Andrew M. Batul, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Brianna T. Platukas, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Aaron K. Berard, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Christopher Pete Polson, U.S. Navy. Major Glenn W. Berdella, Jr., U.S. Marine Corps. Major Brandon W. Price, Air National Guard. Major Luke Bever, U.S. Air Force. Major Price with, with distinction, my apologies. Lieutenant it. Commander Brian T. Reynolds, U.S. Navy. Major Thomas H. Bloomer, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Christopher W. Smith, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Jeffrey Keith Brill, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Javed Peter Sondi, U.S. Navy. Major James Brown, Jr., U.S. Army Reserve. Major Matt Spinelli, U.S. Air Force. Major Benjamin Birch, U.S. Army. Major Benjamin Carl Steele, U.S. Marine Corps. Major Brian M. Burgoon, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Robert P. Stolschel, U.S. Navy. Mr. Jimmy Childers, Childers, Defense Contract Management Agency. Lieutenant Commander Brendan T. Tower, U.S. Navy with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Barry C. Chow, U.S. Navy. Major Matthew V. Van Ostrom, U.S. Air Force. Major Nicholas W. Simler, U.S. Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Darren M. Wilkin, U.S. Navy. Major Nathaniel Clegg, U.S. Air Force. Dr. Peter M. Wilson II, Defense Intelligence Agency. Mr. Daniel Robert Coates, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, with distinction. This is you. This is you. Ms. Robin V. Anderson, U.S. Marshal Service, Washington, D.C. Major Sean Matthew Cockrell, U.S. Army. 
Mrs. Florence S. Babcock Awono, Naval Air Systems Command, Patuxent River, Maryland. Lieutenant Commander Andrew M. Coffin, U.S. Navy, with distinction. Mr. Louis R. Baca, Naval Information Warfare Command, Pacific, San Diego, California. Lieutenant Commander Jason A. Conley, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Rizwan Bilgrami, Supply Corps, United States Navy Reserve. Major Michael E. Corrigan, U.S. Air Force, with highest distinction. Commander Andrew P. Brexa III, United States Navy Reserve. Major Joshua V. Crockett, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Mr. Michael A. Brown, Space and Naval Warfare Systems Center Atlantic, Charleston, South Carolina. Major David A. Darling, U.S. Army. Mr. David S. Bury, Office of the Chief of Naval Operations, Washington, D.C., with highest distinction. Major Lazarus T. Davidson, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Timothy D. Cox, United States Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Brian J. Davenport, U.S. Navy. Commander James K. Cullen II, United States Coast Guard Reserve, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Daniel Dietrich, U.S. Navy. Captain Kimberly Davis, Medical Corps, United States Navy, with highest distinction. Major Honey Dollawall, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Rex M. Dillon, Supply Corps, United States Navy, with highest distinction. Lieutenant Commander Kenneth P. Diddig, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Mario Fernandez, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Major Ian Griffith Dunlap, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Brian Gannon, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Patrick Michael Dernan, U.S. Navy, with distinction. Lieutenant Lauren Gannon, United States Navy. Major Robert Thomas Eberts, U.S. Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Laura K. Gilbert, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Major Joshua Stephen Edwards, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel ben Benjamin K. Grabsky, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Daniel Sean Emmert, Jr., U.S. Navy. Ms. Gina L. Gregalunas, Defense Intelligence Agency, Washington, D.C. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey T. Falcone, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Irwin C. Harrington, United States Navy Reserve. Major Jeremiah Fought, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Wisdom Henyu, Medical Service Corps, United States Navy. Major John J. Fernandez Rubio, U.S. Army. Captain David S. Huber, United States Navy Reserve. Major William C. Furness, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Jim Kang, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Marcus A. Garcia, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Monica L. Killeran, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Calvin B. Gates, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Justin A. Lemons, Supply Corps, United States Navy. 
Lieutenant Commander Justin R. Gear, U.S. Coast Guard. Lieutenant Jonathan M. Lutkenholter, United States Navy. Mr. James P. Goodwin III, U.S. Special Operations Command. Mr. Craig Kirby Maudlin, United States Border Patrol, San Diego, California. Lieutenant Commander Lakeish L. Gordon Littleton, U.S. Navy. Commander Eric McAfee, United States Navy Reserve. Major Allison Gould, U.S. Army. Mr. Gary E. Miller, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, Springfield, Virginia. Major Jason Todd Harris, U.S. Marine Corps, with highest distinction. Lieutenant Commander Noel A. Perez Sanfeliz, United States Navy Reserve. Major Jaime Hernandez, Jr., U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Christopher Solomon, United States Navy Reserve. Major Justin Samuel Howard, U.S. Army, with distinction. Here. Lieutenant <laughs> Lucian H. Smith, yeah, United States Navy, with highest distinction. Major Jamie L. Hickman, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Shirlene M. Sulitan, Nurse Corps, United States Navy Reserve. Major Heather M. Higley, U.S. Air Force. Major Daryl R. V. Tran, United States Army Reserve. Lieutenant Anthony Leary Hines, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Hien Q. Vu, United States Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Colonel Ryan M. Heiserot, U.S. Air Force. Commander Michael J. Volpus, United States Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Christopher Lewis Hornung, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Martha C. Adams, United States Navy Reserve. Major Patrick L. Hunt, U.S. Army. Mr. Mark A. Admiral, United States Indo-Pacific Command, Pearl Harbor, with highest distinction. Major Dana A. Jacobs, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Wilson T. Basilio, United States Navy. Major Anthony J. Janice, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Rachel A. Bitar, United States Navy. Major Timothy D. Jennings, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Donna Burge, Nurse Corps, United States Navy Reserve. Major Sky Jensen, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Mr. Richard R. Capetto, United States House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. Major Tyler H. Johnson, U.S. Army, with distinction. Mr. Matthew B. Clement, Naval Criminal Investigative Service, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Major Jerona L. Jones, U.S. Army. Mr. Aaron J. Cohen, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Fort Worth, Texas, with distinction. Major Matthew Allen Cayley, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Richard M. Collins, United States Army Futures Command, Fort Eustis, Virginia. Major Bradley Brett Keller, U.S. Marine Corps. Commander Shannon E. Conklin, United States Navy Reserve. Major David Chinfone Lai, U.S. Army, with distinction. 
Lieutenant Commander A. Neil Corbin II, United States Coast Guard. Major Christopher D. Landers, U.S. Army. Ms. Aaron E. Corcoran, Department of Defense, Washington, D.C. Major Brock Alexander Lennon, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Lindsey N. Cosentino, United States Navy. Major Mark Stanley Levitt, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Stephen D. Curtis, United States Navy, with distinction. Major William Henry Liggett, U.S. Army, with distinction. Lieutenant William P. Day, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Tanya M. Lim, U.S. Coast Guard. Mr. Michael L. Dickerson, Department of State, Washington, D.C. Ms. Bonnie Long, Department of State, with distinction. Lieutenant Joven Ernani V. Ding Lawson, United States Navy. Major Paul M. Lohman, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction. Mrs. Cam C. Donahue, Naval Air Warfare Center, Patuxent River, Maryland, with highest distinction. Major Patrick Ryan Mahoney, U.S. Marine Corps. Ms. Haley M. Dorval, Office of the U.S. Trade Representative, Washington, D.C. Major David Stoner Manwiller, U.S. Marine Corps. Mr. Michael N. Elkir, Defense Criminal Investigative Service, Dallas, Texas. Mr. Matthew T. McCurry, U.S. Government. Lieutenant Christy M. Esco, United States Navy Reserve. Major Matthew K. McDaniel, U.S. Army, with distinction. Mr. Robert C. Farah, United States Senate, Washington, D.C. Major Peter D. McGrath, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Luke D. Freeman, United States Navy, with distinction. Mr. David K. Merrifield, Department of Defense, with highest distinction. Ms. Stephanie L. Gamash, United States Senate, Washington, D.C. Mr. Michael McLean, Department of State. Lieutenant Samuel R. Gasberry, United States Navy. Major Michael S. Mickus, U.S. Air Force, with highest distinction. Mr. William A. Gay, United States Border Patrol, Welton, Arizona. Major Mark De Dale Milligan, Jr., U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Tebin H.T. Glebus, United States Navy, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Melissa Allison Arms Moravan, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Stephen K. Graff, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Commander Christopher W. Morris, U.S. Navy, with distinction. Dr. Ashley M. Grant, United States Government Accountability Office, Washington, D.C. Major Kyle P. Modern, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Ms. Melesha R. Greer, Strategic Systems Program, Washington, D.C. Lieutenant Commander Craig P. Nesgood, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Michael L. Griffiths, United States Coast Guard. 
Major Christina Niemeyer, U.S. Army. Mr. Chad J. Gukert, United States Marshal Service, Fort Worth, Texas. Major Luke P. Oman, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Clark K. Hartley, Medical Service Corps, United States Navy. Major Stephen J. Orban, U.S. Army, with highest distinction. Mr. Joel C. Heffernan, United States Secret Service, Washington, D.C. Major Jared Nathan Overton, U.S. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Jared A. Hernandez, Judge Advocate General Corps, United States Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Eric C. Perry, U.S. Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Charlene C. Holliday, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Major Samik A. Parsa, U.S. Air Force. Mr. David L. Howard, Department of Energy, Washington, D.C. Commander Jason Augusta Payne, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Georgia B. Kuplick, Judge Advocate General Corps, United States, Gen United States Navy. Major Christopher G. Philpott, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Marissa K. Legg, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Richard M. Pinto, U.S. Navy. Mr. James R. Leonard, Jr., Naval Air Warfare Center, Patuxent, Maryland. Major William W. Pollard, U.S. Army. Ms. Serena Lee, United States Senate, Washington, D.C. Ms. Rosalind P. Prince. U.S. Office of Personnel Management. Commander Christopher A. Lopez, United States Navy Reserve. Major Robert Michael Ray, U.S. Marine Corps, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Arthur P. Mayhar, United States Coast Guard. Major Alberto Rios, U.S. Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Shannon McBride, United States Navy. Major Jason Robinson, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Right. Lieutenant Aaron E. McClellan, United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Jonathan C. Ryan, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Nathaniel D. McLaughlin, U.S. Navy with highest distinction. Major Mark Lewis Salvati, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Jacob M. Mayle, United States Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Commander James Sanborn, U.S. Navy. Commander Matthew A. Michaelis, United States Coast Guard with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Caroline Marie Sider, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Michelle C. Miller, Medical Service Corps, United States Navy. Major Christopher M. Seidler, U.S. Air Force, with highest distinction. Mr. Nicholas L. Nettles, Customs and Border Protection, Washington, D.C. Major Stephen J. Sickles, U.S. Army. Mr. Jonathan E. O'Neill, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Washington, D.C. Ms. Aaron M. Smart, Department of the Army. Mr. Jared R. Orazi, Naval Criminal Investigative Service, Washington, D.C. Major Nathaniel David Smith, U.S. Marine Corps with distinction. Mr. Joel B. Paskowskis II, U.S. Marshal Service, Savannah, Georgia. 
Major Leonard J. Spiegel II, U.S. Air Force, with distinction. Lieutenant Thaddeus D. Phillips, United States Navy, with distinction. Major Thomas Steiner, U.S. Air Force, with highest distinction. Mr. Cody J. Raisinger, Government Accountability Office, Seattle, Washington. Major Mark Reynolds Sudwicks, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Philip F. Riley, United States Navy. Major Gary Nicholas Taylor, U.S. Army. Lieutenant David R. Rodriguez, United States Navy, with distinction. Major Lucas L. Toth, U.S. Army Reserve. Mr. Matthew J. Russell, United States House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. Major Philip L. Turner, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Rebecca L. Samuels, United States Navy, with distinction. Major Jesus Irudia, U.S. Army. Commander Eben C. Samuelson, United States Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Brian K. Vidrine, U.S. Navy. Lieutenant Commander Gustav J. Seiler Schmidt, United States Coast Guard. Major Aaron Earl Wallace, U.S. Army National Guard. Captain Vincent J. Squarek, United States Coast Guard, with distinction. Major Kurt Wazalewski, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Stephen M. Smith, United States Coast Guard. Major Trevor P. Weaver, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Stephen like G. Socha, United States Navy Reserve. Major Travis Howard Young, U.S. Army. Mr. Joseph Sullivan IV, Department of Housing and Urban Development, Washington, D.C. We're done over here. Lieutenant Anthony L. Thompson, U.S. Navy. I won. Lieutenant Ian L. Topping, United States Navy. Lieutenant John Vick, United States Navy. Mr. James T.F. Ward, United States House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. Commander Devin K. Williams, United States Public Health Service, with highest distinction. Lieutenant Anthony J. Wanuck, United States Navy. And Mr. Andrew S. Wurst, Department of Defense, United States Navy.
Secretary Spencer, we want to thank you for joining us today and helping us graduate these extraordinary leaders. To our faculty and staff and to the families and friends of today's graduates, thank you for an extraordinary gr and, and great day. And thank you for all that you have done to bring us this day today. To our graduates, you, depo you depart Newport, Newport to be part of the solution. To meet the great challenges that fall to the free nations represented beneath this, this tent. You go forward stronger and smarter, reinvigorated for the tasks ahead. You take with you the knowledge and wisdom of centuries relevant to the challenges of today and the greater trust and confidence you have gained together with your classmates here from the other services and from other countries. Today, you leave ready to lead. Regardless of where your orders may be taking you, each of you will have the opportunity to immediately put to use all that you have learned here, the opportunity to act and to lead, and lead you must. History provides ample evidence of this fact, and the old adage still rings true. All that is necessary for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. I am convinced that Dewey Field is brimming today with good men and good women who will do magnificent things. On behalf of the Naval War College faculty, staff, and students that you leave behind, we wish you and your families fair winds and following seas, much happiness for the years ahead, and success in every endeavor. Congratulations. Please rise for the benediction. Let us pray. Eternal God, as you have graced us with your presence, so send us out with a sense of your enduring purpose, presence, and peace. Entrust to these leaders the spirit of a scholar warrior, ever seeking a deeper understanding of the forces at play in the field of battle, a greater appreciation of the operational arena, and a more precise way forward in the hour of complexity and crisis. Enable them to maintain steadfastness of purpose, fidelity to their nation, and dedication to our highest ideals in defense of justice, freedom, and liberty for all. Kindle anew a spirit of self-sacrificial service that will fuel the development of those they lead and spur them on to excellence and grant that we may all remain resolute and faithful in our particular places of responsibility, accountability, and authority, demonstrating by our every thought, word, and deed the honor, courage, and commitment to which we have been called. Amen. At this time, all military personnel, please cover. Please remain standing for the departure of the official party and dignitaries. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. We thank you for joining us today and safe travels to everyone. Thank you.